Welcome to Year 7 and Year 8 Science Quick Revision Series under the topic Gases. Now we are on difference of burning splint from a glowing splint. Before we are going to talk about the difference of burning splint and glowing splint, we will go back to the composition of gas in the air. We said that 79% of air is nitrogen. 20% of it is oxygen, 0.03% carbon dioxide, approximately 1% noble gases, and water vapor which varies in proportion dependent upon its location. Oxygen, which is 20% in air, is essential for life. It is odorless and colorless and it is needed in respiration and photosynthesis. When we would like to test for this, we need to know if it really supports burning or combustion because if we will expose a glowing splint into oxygen, it will relight or rekindle. Hydrogen is the other gas that we would like to test. But this gas is not found in air, so we need to collect it. It is insoluble in water, and it is also odorless and colorless. This is considered the lightest gas. That is why it's highly flammable because it burns in air to produce water vapor. So in finding out if there is presence of hydrogen in a test tube wherein we collect the hydrogen, it must produce a pop sound and we will use a burning splint. After finding out some of the properties of oxygen and hydrogen, we will now go to the difference between a glowing splint and a burning splint. In a glowing splint on the left, this is the test for oxygen. When this is exposed to the presence of oxygen, it will burn, so it must be able to relight or rekindle under such condition. So you are going to see this if it lights, thus oxygen supports burning or combustion. To the right side will be hydrogen, so we expect that there will be a pop sound if we use a lighted splint or a burning splint. So upon inserting into the test tube containing hydrogen, there must be a reaction and the reaction will be a pop sound. Thus hydrogen is highly flammable. So this wraps up our quick revision series on gas. Difference of burning splint from a glowing splint under the topic gases. This is Teacher Jeffrey. A goal without a plan is just a wish.